Hey, this is TerraToots with a quick tutorial on creating a boulder field in TerraGen 4. In the previous tutorial, we covered the basics of the fake stone shader, including displacement and coloring. In this video, we'll go over how to combine multiple fake stone shaders and add some variations in size, shape, and distribution. We'll start out in our scene from last time with a single layer of 5 meter fake stones. To start out, let's look at how we can vary the size and shape a bit more over the population. Let's create a power fractal, which we're going to be connecting to the scale and tallness function inputs of our fake stone shader. I'm going to set the scale here to 100, 50, and 10, trying to keep the smallest scale close to, but larger than an individual rock. Otherwise, you'll get some strange warping effects. We'll turn on high and low color, and I'll set this to 1 and 0 0.8. So this is basically saying that we'll get rocks that are between 80 and 100% of the current scale and tallness. Now we can plug this into the scale and tallness inputs, and we should see a little more variation across the landscape. Next, let's take our stack of fake stone shaders and copy it three times. With some adjustments, we'll use these to create medium stones, small stones, and some that are even larger than our originals. First, the medium stones. We'll set the stone scale to 1 meter and the density to 0 0.75, which will give a pretty good scattering of mid-sized stones. For this shader, we'll get rid of the fine displacement and color layers and do everything in one power fractal here. We're going to scale the values according to our new stone size and set the lead-in scale to 1, the feature scale to 0 0.5, and the smallest scale to 0 0.005. I'll set the displacement amplitude to 0.3 and the roughness to 0.9 with a spike limit of 0.85. Additionally, we'll come over to the color tab and apply both high and low color and bring the contrast down a bit. Now if we plug in this medium stone shader in place of our large one, we can see our medium sized fake stones covering the landscape. To break up the distribution of medium stones a bit more, I'm also going to create a new power fractal shader to use as a mask using the Perlin Ridges noise type. We'll use scales of 500, 50, and 0.5. Boost the contrast a bit and bring down the color offset to reduce the coverage. Then we can connect this to the mask input of the fake stone and get a little more varied distribution. Now, if you plug both of these fake stone shaders directly into your terrain, you'll get stones growing out of each other. Sometimes that's great, but most of the time we don't want that. The secret is to merge the two fake stone shaders using a merge shader set to choose by altitude highest. This will keep only the largest stone at each location, so the small rocks will fill in around the large ones. To add another layer, just add another merge, like this. The process for adding the remaining sizes of fake stones is similar. Just change the stone size and adjust the displacement scales to match, as well as the coloring and tallness functions. For this image, I have 25 meter, 5 meter, 1 meter, and quarter meter stones, all merged together under a single surface layer. I've included a link to this file in the description, so you can see the details of the scaling if desired. I've also included a link to a different take on this same setup that uses slightly different displacement and coloring to create a lava rock effect for a volcanic boulder field. Hopefully this has been helpful in understanding how to combine different fake stone layers to add some real depth and detail to a scene. Thanks for watching.